What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It looks like in the season three update, there's over 10 different operators and bundles. Some of them are available right now and I'll show you guys how to unlock them. There are also some that were found in the files that we'll be releasing in future updates and we'll go over and talk about them. There's leaked operators, skins, and free rewards. So we got all that covered here in today's video. If you find it helpful or informative, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I did double upload yesterday. We went over the new Blaze Up event that's now live. There's also free rewards from the Blaze Up challenge. I showed you guys how to complete it in the fastest way possible. Possible. It took around two hours to get completed. So if you guys want to know how to do that quick, I'll have the video linked down in the description. But anyways, let's go ahead. Let's get into it. The very first operator that you can unlock right now is the new quest operator. This is by simply doing the new quest. You need to get five wins in a row to get the new contract. You can also get 30 wins total on any form of Rebirth Island. You just can't do it in rank because the wins don't count in that mode. After that, you'll have that new quest that you'll be able to cash in at any time. Once you do, there will be a contract on the map that you'll need to go and activate, complete the nuke and detonate it and upon doing so you will unlock the rewards there's also currently a glitch right now where if you activate a signals intelligence contract you go over you hack the new quest at the same time that you hack a different contract it actually ends up glitching it out and completing it for you without having to start the contract collecting the elements activating the nuke and then detonating it these are the following rewards that you will unlock the first one is the operator called the material hander this is what they will look like you guys are probably already familiar with that operator skin and then you get this brand new camo which is not reactive doesn't have any animations or effects to it this is just what it looks like and then you got a brand new charm and then finally you have a calling card if you do it in years extend you will get this brand new camo it's not animated but super bright colors and it looks pretty cool there's a brand new monster bundle that's coming in this is going to be a blue version of the original green that we ended up seeing it has a bunch of other cosmetics that come along with it but before we talk about that as a call of duty player i'm always looking for that next fire fps game to play but if i told you today's sponsor offers all that and even more this is arena breakout a realistic tactical FPS game with the main objective of jumping into a match, looting valuables, and safely extracting with them. If you can safely get out, you get to keep that loot and sell it for valuable money in which you can buy even rarer and more expensive items that you can flex on other squads and use to play even more difficult modes. And this is what makes it a unique FPS game is you don't go in like a standard battle royale and eliminate players. This is not a battle royale. What you need to do is go in there with a strategy. You can do a couple of things, whether you're hiding out, trying to go in stealth, find valuable loot and extract, you can go in there, meet other squads, befriend them, and team up to get even better loot. Or you can go in there guns blazing, eliminating other players, and taking their loot. The strategies are endless. With the consistent seasonal updates that Arena Breakout provides, there's diverse map pools with areas such as Valley, Farm, Port, TV Station, all have their own different ways of playing them, different buildings, cover and scouting areas. There's also many different modes, for example, a dynamic weather and boss fight mode called Northridge Assault. There's even regular modes like Tactical Ops and Lockdown Zone. And you can even choose your preferred difficulty level, but doing the more difficult ones will get you better valuable items. And there's also the Gunsmith, which is my personal favorite. This is the area that you can customize the different assortment of weapons that are available. You're also able to equip other military equipment such as armor, chest plates, and other protective gear and starting on april 11th we get a brand new season 4 update which brings in new faction clash mode that allows players to choose between cdis or mnst and depending on the faction that you choose you can also get weapons exclusive to them for cdis you get the new ts5 smg or if you choose mnst you can get the bison submachine gun there's also the new t951 ar and the t03 ar being added into the market fan favorite valley map has also been refreshed making it larger and providing a whole new experience i'm going to be playing this update along with millions of others so be sure to join me the link will be down in the description thank you arena breakout for sponsoring today's video if you guys remember we had that monster energy collaboration in the past on fortunes keep all you had to do was go to call of duty.com slash monster energy redeem and you're able to get yourself a free operator skin it looks like there's a new version of that skin shout out to austin six for the gameplay this brings in a different color version of that barbecue operator skin and this one is going to be more of a grayish black and blue type of color this is like a little gameplay footage that he showcases then he uses the weapon blueprint that was previously leaked already and never released with that original one maybe it's a part of this one that they were saving it for there's also a second weapon blueprint but this one is a blue version has that same color black gray and blue and then it matches pretty much that outfit that we have then along with that there's a new weapon charm there's other things like stickers 
decals and just a bunch of cosmetics that were not available previously there's also a monster skin for the vehicle from all these cosmetics it looks like they have enough to create a bundle but it's not listed as one meaning that it's not going to be hitting the store and it's not going to be for sale so it's probably going to end up being a free reward very similar to what they did with fortune skeet they could probably end up doing it with rebirth island it might end up being an event later on sometime during season three where it will be unlockable in a similar fashion as of right now we just don't know how you'll be able to get it once we do and we get more information i'll make a tutorial video and i'll show you guys exactly what you need to do now this is an interesting one because i don't have any information other than the short video clip it looks like an unreleased operator but the fact is it's not a part of any of the bundles that we have currently right now in the season three update there's a couple of things that can happen one either the operator is going to be a free event reward sometime in an upcoming update there will be a free way that you can unlock it in my opinion i think with the way that this operator looks it could potentially be an unfinished bundle so they are waiting to add blueprints and other cosmetics for it before they turn it into a store bundle the only thing we know is that this is a new skin variant for byline it's currently not out yet i have no name or no information on exactly what it is let's just call it like the metal face skin but what are your thoughts and opinions do you think this could end up being a free reward or do you think this is probably just an unfinished bundle next thing that we have is a brand new combat pack that is now available this is going to be for season three combat pack number three called sapphire this brings in the new operator skin called starry nightmare which looks like this as you can see here from the trailer there's also going to be two different weapon blueprints the first one is for the bp50 called the remember not rifle the second one is an smg blueprint called the Raphael rival you also get a charm a brand new emblem and a new calling card and this is going to be available for all playstation plus users if you have playstation you simply need to go over to the psn store and claim it it's going to be available for the entire duration of the season 3 update i believe it went live yesterday on april 10th so it should be live from now all the way up until we get into season 4 and then that will be replaced with a brand new combat pack if you want to use this bundle cross progression you can you first need to get it on playstation save the two different weapon blueprints as a brand new blueprint and then it will appear on your pc and xbox and if you put on the operator skin and equip it as long as you don't remove it it will stay on the xbox and the pc account and you're able to see these different operators unlike it was in mw2 but this is just a free bundle that you can also get right now this next one we've talked about already just wanted to give you a quick reminder this is the safeguard operator skin with the warzone welcome missions it looks like they're still slowly rolling these out many players are still getting them do me a favor comment down below if you have recently gotten these warzone welcome missions let me know if you guys have gotten it since the season 3 update has started it doesn't seem like it's going in at a faster rate it's just completely rng based if you load in and you find that welcome mission page then you're able to get it if not then you're just gonna have to patiently wait until hopefully it does appear for you just wanted to remind you guys of that because they are still giving it out the next operator skins that we have have been found in the files were unknown exactly how you're going to be able to unlock them but because they're not tied to any operator bundles chances are they are going to end up being potential free rewards that you'll be able to get in the future the first one is the prisoner operator skin we have this photo of him he's now currently still available in the files we thought maybe because rebirth island released there was going to be some sort of way that you'll be able to get him usually when operators sit in the files this long there's a couple of things that can happen one they can end up being a part of like some sort of a crossover collaboration or type of marketing thing for example the monster energy skin call of duty just randomly tweeted on twitter that you can claim it and then it became available future events that are not out yet for example they might do an event during the reloaded update currently right now all the events that we know of for the first part of season three are the blaze up there's no operator for that one there's going to be the vortex text mainframe event that one doesn't have an operator we don't have any information on the reloaded events there is a potential chance that maybe he could be a part of that but we'll have a little bit more information as we get closer to those updates the next thing that we have is this brand new striker operator skin we talked about how this would carry on over into multiplayer apparently with the season 3 update they unfortunately made him warzone mobile exclusive if you still want this operator skin all you have to do is text this number if you are in the united states with the word striker s-t-r-y-k-e-r -E we've talked about this in the past before they'll ask you if you will accept marketing and if you say yes they'll send you a code and they actually tweeted out over on twitter saying that you can claim it right now and they mentioned that it was for warzone mobile it doesn't look like it's gonna cross on over into multiplayer although they did have that little icon towards the beginning it's now since then been updated the next thing that we have is it looks like they're teasing the soap operator skin once again call of duty ended up tweeting a little bit of marketing they said tag a friend you'd bring to the six star getaway and then in the whole clip it's basically ghost and soap 
And guess what cell version they used? The Hawk version of him. And it was just throughout the entire video clip, it kept going on and showcasing and teasing him. And it was in this brand new map. So this is definitely recent footage. It's not something like old or recycled. This is new content, new footage that they're showcasing. Every single reply was stop teasing us with this skin, add him into the game, bring him in. And I feel like they're doing this on purpose. I think they definitely have something planned for this operator skin for the reason that it's added into the files. It's sitting there right now with these photos. You can see here of him in game of Modern Warfare 3. He was originally supposed to release in MW2 if the skin was scrapped it wouldn't have carried over into MW3, but it did. And they consistently keep teasing him with new photos, new video clips. And when we start forgetting about him, bam, they drop in a new teaser or a new photo and put him at the center of attention, sort of to remind everyone that there is this skin still there. And they're just teasing us, but I just wanted to let you know about that. It's probably gonna release during the life cycle of MW3, just as of right now, we have no way of knowing when or how you are gonna be able to unlock it. Anyways, the last and final operator bundle that you can expect to be releasing is gonna be coming out towards the end of this month around the 25th as of right now this one is still unknown we don't know exactly what operator we're gonna get but prime gaming every single month will give us a brand new bundle and they cycle the rotation one month it's an operator bundle the next month it's a weapon blueprint bundle last month we have the weapon blueprint one that's available and this is the photo that we have of it meaning that next time we are expecting to get a new operator usually they pick old bundles that don't have tracer effects maybe they didn't sell all too well and then they end up making them free and we saw that the cowboy operator was one of the past ones that we got this time around we're not entirely sure what we're gonna get as long as it's a bundle that doesn't have tracer packs and is not more recent probably a bundle that released in season one that will more than likely be the free one once it does go live i will make a video and show you guys how you're going to be able to unlock it showcasing what the bundle is and everything about that but that's pretty much all that i have for you guys in regards to free operators that are currently available and ones that are going to be coming out if there's any more additional ones that i forgot to mention comment them down below and let us know anyways that's all that i got for you guys in this video thank you guys for tuning in and hopefully i'll be seeing you guys again peace